Hello and welcome back. This is a short video about the new Atlas Keystone crop rotation because I'm from Germany and we like the shit here. And I did some math on how to potentially use it the best way to get way higher crops than other people. First of all, here's the node in the patch notes. It's quite at the start. Near the gems and then the Atlas Keystone. I put it into the notepad for a better view rotations, bunch of exclamation marks. Harvest crops in your maps contain only tier 1 plants and harvesting crops in your maps has a chance to upgrade the tier of plants of different colors, which means you have different color fields, usually three. You have the blue, the purple and the yellow. And I made an example with like five blue fields, six yellow fields and seven purple fields. I used the abbreviation 5B, 6Y and 7p. The first idea I had is do all the 7p, the purple fields, and then you have 11 fields remaining, and you get the 7 chances per field that you do to get plus 1, and ideally you want to get 2 plus 4, so you need the proc of this field 3 times on the same plant, and you have a t4, and for example if you do the five blue fields first, then you get 13 fields and you get the 5% chance to go plus one. But then there's the question, it might make it more difficult to hit the same seed multiple times with a plus one. If you have like more seeds, there could be that you have only a deterministic chance or for the sum of all of your seeds to go to plus one. And if you have more seeds, it might be a drawback to hit the same seed twice or three times if you want to four seeds. But I strongly assume that the chance for an upgrade to plus one is calculated per seed and not per field or in the sum of all the remaining fields. And I think it's very likely that it could be a 10% chance. So I calculated with a 1.1 with the power of seven, which equals 1.95. And then the other fields get a tier 2 on average or almost a tier 2 and for the other calculations 1.1 with the power of 5 is 1.61 and with the power of 6 it's 1.77 and to the power of 7 it's 1.95 for example if you do the least amount first then your yellow fields and the purple fields have an average level of 1.61 and then you do the 6 yellow next and then you have the 1.61 times 1.1 to the power of 6. Then your average level of the remaining 7 purple fields is 2.85. If you do the 7 purple fields first, then your fields have an average level of 1.95 for the blue and the yellow. And if you do the 6 yellows next, then you have the 1.95 times the 1.1 to the power of 6. And then your average fields for the remaining five fields is 3.45 and then you just take the numbers of what is actually in the harvest and these numbers are very inflated i think i barely do the harvests in general and i don't pay much attention to them but if you ask like spicy sushi he lives in the harvest he's a professional gardener he should have probably the same opinion as me i would assume i hope you got inspired like and subscribe for more until next time bye bye